Become an unbaptized publisher. Wait a minute, become an unbaptized what? Interesting. I see this is going to be based on Matthew 21 verse 16, so let's hear what the scripture has to say. And said to him, Do you hear what these are saying? Jesus said to them, Yes. Did you never read this? Out of the mouth of children and infants you have brought forth praise. Okay then. So, does that scripture mean that children and infants should become unbaptized publishers? I thought it meant that even in the voices of infants and children you can hear the Lord being praised. But then again, what do I know? Let's have the Watchtower's children video do the explanation. Hey Dad, here's my service report. Good. You can put it on the bench. Okay. Dad, when can I be a publisher? Ah, you have brought this up before. When we're together in the ministry, you do very well when speaking at the door. So then I can? <laughs> Not just yet. It's like getting a license to drive a car. You have to be approved. We can discuss how the elders are involved in approving you. For now, let's see if you might qualify. First, do you obey Jehovah and your parents? Yeah. Next, do you believe the Bible is Jehovah's Word? And can you explain the basic teachings? Yes. And are your friends Jehovah's friends? Yeah. Caleb, you are already doing very well. One last thing. Do you want to be one of Jehovah's Witnesses and preach? I do. I think I'm ready. <laughs> I think you are too. But we'll have to see what the elders decide. I'm so proud of you, son. Now, could you hand me that wrench? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, Jehovah's Witnesses, we heard what you were teaching the children and we know it sounds good to you. Not bad, or is it? Now that we got that out of the way, let us now show the children where in the Bible that is to be found. Please tell us where Jesus or the apostles taught about becoming a publisher, much more an unbaptized publisher. Remember, you're the people who reject the Trinity on account of the word not being found in the Bible, so please open your New World Translation of the Scriptures and find the word publisher. But this goes beyond the silly corporate name you all adopted to use in your religion. Use whatever word you want to use. Just show us in the Bible where it is taught about being an unbaptized anything, much more publisher. Publisher of what? Publisher of the good news of salvation? Where did Christ or the apostles teach anyone to become an unbaptized minister? Please open your so-called silver sword and show us the examples of the apostles going door to door with children, just one single example, please. This is an explanation of what Caleb was told in that disgusting video. In order for you to become an unbaptized, unpaid sales representative of the Watchtower Corporation, you must first get approval from the elders, as was never seen in the Bible, and to be approved, you must be able to answer the following questions in the affirmative. 1. Do you obey Jehovah and your parents? 2. Do you believe the Bible is the Word of God and can you explain to people what the governing body says that the Bible says? 3. Are your friends Jehovah's Witnesses? Then comes the commendation. You have passed all of those requirements. You have obeyed your parents and keep only Jehovah's Witness friends. You do a fair job of explaining what the Watchtower teaches, so you are doing very well. Only one thing you now have to do, and that is get the Supreme Judges of Righteousness in our organization, the Elders, to examine you to see if you qualify to be an unpaid Watchtower sales representative. Of course, never mind what critics are saying because you can find all of this in the Bible. 
You only need to open your Bible to the Book of Governing Body, chapter 75, verse 963. What these people are teaching children is nothing short of despicable. That's despicable. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel. It would also help if you subscribe to the sister channel Hope and Inspiration using the link in the description. Until the next video, please protect the children by keeping them away from this organization. When it is not leaving them open to sexual abuse, it is brainwashing with dangerous doctrinal poison geared at stealing their childhood and messing up their adulthood. Let's do the right thing for the children as far as possible. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all.